that's impressive. Let's finish up with this. I mean, you know, you, you've been asking, you know, I asked you a little bit about Spence. Uh, that's the big fight that people want to see if you get past Amir Khan. How, how frustrating is it for you to sit there and know you have all these guys out there that you could prove yourself against and show how great you are? And, and those fights are very difficult to make, and they haven't been made at this point in your career. You almost fought Louis Colazzo, who was a, a good fighter a number of years ago, but he's not the same guy now in this fight. Um, is that a frustration to you that, you know, it's difficult to get the elite guys in the ring? Sometimes it's frustrating, but that's not my job to, to stress over things that I have no control over. So I just do my, my, my job, and that's fight and train and fight anybody they put in front of me. Bullshit. You know, the best uh, opponents. That, you voice your opinion, though, right. don't you? Yeah, of course, you know, but I can't be too stressed over things that I can't control. Bullshit. You know, um, like the Manny Pacquiao situation. I stressed over that for many of years, and you see, we never had got that fight. Uh, Bullshit. Uh, handled so I'm not going to stress over if I fight Spence if I fight Garcia if I fight Thurman those type of fighters I'm not going to stress it you, you know as long said, as I'm right? making a living for my family and I, I'm doing what I'm supposed to do as a fighter then I'm not going to stress it because I didn't done a lot of in, in, the, in the boxing game that a lot of people haven't I'm a two, two division unified champion Ring Magazine, Undisputed, Fighter of the Year. You know, I got so many accolades, you know, that I've accomplished in the professional boxing that I'm, I'm comfortable. I'm, I'm good with how my boxing So if your career out. would unfortunately end if after Con, the Con's your last fight, you're, you don't have any regrets about not seeing those other guys? Not at all. Not at all. I didn't move up to division. Hmm. Not at all. Let's wrap with this. Give me, how, why should people buy this fight? What are they going to expect to see out of you? Would you have reservations if he said, next fight I want Terrence Crawford? Well, I killed the fight. Yeah. So you wouldn't, wouldn't want that for Manny? No, because I know would know how it would end. I mean, not that I knew it. Is that he is vulnerable to a good stop or punch? You know, he leaves himself open a little bit. So the question is, Manny is a terrific puncher. Uh, if he nails Crawford, what happens? All right, I just wanted to give you a taste of the buffoonery and the goofy talk from Bud and Bob Arum. And at this point, well, you know, I've been at the point because the description, the link in the description, I made this video about how Bob Arum and Bud Crawford is a liar. And um, at the end of the day, um, I came to the conclusion that um, even if he's going to become a free agent, um, you know, because I'm, I'm just now, you know, it's too much shit to the brain. And I'm now hearing that Crawford said, you know, that he's going to make that fight with Pacquiao regardless of Bob Arum is there or not. Um, okay, like, what do you, how do you, okay, what are you doing, yo? You still under Bob Arum. It's not like he could do anything on your own with any fucking network or whatever, right? So this is it. This is the last of it. All right. All I can say is the last thing I heard was Bob Arum saying that in the Middle East, after the Krell Brook fight, he said we go back to the Middle East and see to go back to the bargaining table. That was the last thing I heard from those two jokers, right? That that could be. And I made a video showing that Crawford was there when Bob Arum was there. So they both notified each other and it's stamped and sealed that they both know that if one is lying, the other one is not. Or the other one's lying, the other one is not. Whatever. They are both agree on their lies or whatever, okay? So if that Middle East shit is not real, then um, Bob Arum is within it. Um, Crawford's in it as well. So I got a little cold, a little sniffles and stuff like that driving me crazy. You know, so at the end of the day, you know, I was listening to Crawford talking about, you know, reading the thing that they said about how he uh wants to make the fight with Manny Pacquiao, right? And you could do it without Bob Arum. Um I don't know how that's possible, okay? Um then you're talking about the money thing and he wasn't worried about money. 
but you're having a big fucking uh, war with with Bud Cro- uh, with Errol Spence with a 60-40, 50-50, or a uh, 40-40 when it takes 20. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm getting flustered with this shit. So this is what I'm going to do. This is where I think this is going to happen, okay? It's just the opinion. But like I said, um, check the description box and, and you'll see that link. And I, I put a lot of proof for how those, those two are liars. They both liars, okay? And this was a long time ago. A long time ago I did this. Before any of this shit come back up. You go look at that and see the proof. I don't care if you're a fan or not. Just go see the proof. What these two jokers are doing, right? And, you know, his loyalty and his allegiance to Barber and whatever, man. I don't, I, listen, I'm done, man. Listen, if you can't make the fight with Manny Pacquiao... This is what I think will happen. Okay, this is this is the only thing I could think of. Um, I really don't want to say it. I really don't want to say it. But he's going to end the fight in Mikey Garcia. You know? But it's okay because um, in a way, um, Terrence Crawford warmed up with Kell Brook. Danny and um, Spence is going to warm up in December. If he's victorious, um, hey, Manny Pacquiao, he could fight sometime in the beginning of the month. Um, Mikey, I really don't want that fight. Or if Manny Pacquiao doesn't want to go sh- to Mikey, I think what I really want, I don't really want him to fight Mikey. I want him to go straight to Spence. That's it, man. Because the way I see it, if Bob Arum cannot make this fight in the Mideast, I think he said, well, they told him to come back to the Mideast to revisit the contract. Right? Revisit the contract and see what we can do. Right? So, you know, I don't know. Whatever, man. Okay? Like I said, if he had said that by himself, I would be like, eh, he's a liar. Even if it, and if it benefit, like, it sounds like we're going to see a Manny Pacquiao fight and shit like that. But when I saw Crawford and Bob Arum talking together with that, with that, um, with that guy doing an interview with them, and Crawford was there. I'm like, damn, this is some real good shit right here. Are they actually going to make this fight? Okay, so now they're going to go revisit it. If I don't hear nothing about that no more, it's over. Because all the proof is in the pudding, like I always say, with the, the link in the description of what I did a long time ago. A long time ago. Um, revisit that, and you'll see how I laid it down. Um, ye- month, year, of all the buffoonery talk they talk, and all the lip service... All the bullshit, and it's not it's not corresponding with each other. Um, even the shit they talking individually is not corresponding with each, with themselves, what they say in the past to the future. Okay, so yeah, in the beginning of this video, I gave you a taste of how bipolar this guy is, right? And Crawford, I don't know what's going on with Crawford, man. Like like I showed you in the in the, in the description, in the link below. Yeah, I, I don't know what's going on with him. I I, I really and. It, it comes to the point where it, 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 it stresses me. Not stressing me, but it's, 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 it's tiresome. It's really tiresome. So what I'm saying is, Manny Pacquiao could go straight to Errol Spence, right? Because I guess the only person that could pay for that fight is Al. I mean, he did Broner. He did Keith Thurman. I mean, that's it. That's not worrying about Bob Arum and, and, and Crawford no more. I'm not worrying about them. I'm not. I'm not xing them out. But listen, his contract will be up next year. Is either Bob Barum wants that money, right? Even though Pacquiao's not with him no more, he just wants that money fight. Cause he other he had, he's had had Lomo and, and Lopez and this. You can make some money off of Manny Pacquiao, regardless. Okay. So if you got some money in the minutes that could pay that shit off, pay him or whatever, fine, do it. If you can't. Just zip it, man. Just, just, just zip it with the goofy talk, man. Just, just zip it. I don't want to hear any more what they got to say unless it's signed, sealed, and delivered. That's it with Crawford. So I'm done with Crawford and I'm done with Bob Arum. Okay, that's it. But I've been, been showed you in the link how, I, how much I, I've been done with them. But I'm just riding it on and riding it on. And um, same thing. This is why I don't understand why my, why guys are mad out there. Why y'all guys mad out there when you hear Crawford said. Oh, I don't have to fight Spence, you know. But he been said that on that Yahoo Sports interview. I think I even got that in that video in the link down there. He said his his career doesn't have to do with Spence. 
So he said a long time ago, a long time ago, and now he bring it up again. So it just, it just, it just puts a stamp on what I've been trying to prove in the first place with these two jokers. Okay, so I'm not mad. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not angry or nothing like that. You know, we say something, I get mad. Um, I don't want to see no stupid Mikey because that's not what I want. I don't want to see Mikey and Pacquiao fight. But listen, if it happens, um, he gotta put his toe in the water to see. You know what, what degree he is because he's been out for two uh, uh, almost two years. So hey, if that fight happens, okay, let it happen. Um, but I really want to see Spence and Manny Pacquiao. That's it. I'm not even worried about Spence and Crawford because if you if you worry about those two, you know, first Crawford says not about the money recently, but you complain about this 60-40, 50-50. Um, it's not making any sense to me. So I'm not going to make a big deal out of them no more. I'm just worrying, worrying about Spence, if he's victorious with Danny Garcia, because regardless if he's not, um, Pacquiao will fight Danny Garcia. Okay, and, and, and y'all could be like, well, you know, if Spence was this and that didn't happen to Spence, um, he would have beat Manny Pacquiao or he could have beat Danny. I don't want to hear all that shit, okay? The man looking good. The man looking excellent, hitting that bag. He, he slimmed down. He said he's medically cleared. Let's make sure Spence is victorious on on, on December fifth, and we're gonna watch this fight. Hope it get, it gets done. Um, I'm just doing this video real quick, but I'm just letting you know I'm done with Crawford and Bob Arum unless they say um, we going to the Middle East and Manny Pacquiao and Crawford's gonna fight. Other than that. I'm done with the chitter chatter. I'm done with what he says, she says shit. I'm done with Andre Ward, Timothy Bradley saying the PBCs are duckers and this and that. And then on this side, he's going to, this nigga Bob Aaron talking about he, um, <laughs> Crawford's not worth it and he, he can't pay, just like he did with Manny Pacquiao. You know, he said, I'm not paying $25 million for, 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 for him to fight Brona. I'll be licking my wounds. Even in that link, I, I've improved, he said that. So, um, regardless of skin color, Bob Aram only color is green, okay? Yeah, yeah, it's racist in it too, and it's bias, bias and all this shit. But at the same time, his favorite color is green, yo. And he ain't gonna pay no $25 million to Bob, um, to Manny Pacquiao. He probably not even gonna pay whatever he needs to pay Crawford to fight Manny Pacquiao. So, this is what I think. The only way that fight gonna happen with Manny Pacquiao, this is just, hey, anything could change. Anything could change. I'm just saying. In my head right now, as I can see, if that shit don't happen in the Midwest, the only place I can see it happening is over there on the, on the other side of the street. And and the first person he's gonna end up fighting is Spence. If Spence is victorious. I think that's the only fight he needs to fight is Spence first. And whatever comes after that, so be it. If he's victorious with Spence, he's victorious with Spence. If he's not, I give I give Manny Pacquiao his props for fighting the young lion. That's it. But I'm still going to say, I'm not going to come on here and say, I told you so, you know, if this happened and that happened. No, I'm a Manny Pacquiao fan. I'm going all the way with Manny Pacquiao. There ain't no if this happened or that happened. And then I say, I told you so. And then make you forget that I'm a Manny Pacquiao. No, I've been saying Manny Pacquiao will be Errol Spence. And that's what I'm sticking to. Okay? Have a good day, yo. I got to take some NyQuil. I'm out, yo.